guys, welcome back. We're out again at San Cristobal Beach. So, you know, again, really, really early before the sunrise. Woke up at 5.30 today and now we're here. Yesterday, we had an amazing, amazing day out here. There was just nonstop action on massive jacks. I, I caught Jackzilla yesterday. And today we're here and it's awesome because we're actually, uh, we're actually here right as the turtles are hatching. So we got to scare some birds away from the turtles just to prevent them from getting eaten the second they're born but um you know super cool because we're just gonna be fishing down the beach and we have all these amazing amazing sea turtles hatching right in front of us one or two of those will actually survive into adulthood so super super low odds and those turtles are cool because uh they actually uh their gender will depend on the temperature at which the eggs are kept so the eggs near the middle will be above 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Those will be female. And then uh, the ones surrounding the, uh, the ones in the middle will be about 81 degrees Fahrenheit and lower. And so they, they'll be male. And you know, that's, that's what determines their gender. So super cool. But we are here for fish, not turtles. So let's get casting. Gotta put the glove on. And uh, you can see I'm gonna use the red and white two and a quarter ounce ballyhoo. And uh, the reason why is yesterday, this lure just absolutely killed everything out here. You can see look how beat up it is. Bite, 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 uh, scratch. So yeah, now this thing was getting, this thing was getting murdered out there. So I'm gonna clip this on and hopefully, hopefully it'll get some hits today. Let's see how it does. All right, let's have our first cast out here. Let's test these waters. Yep, that ballyhoo just swims right on the surface. And it's basically, it's kind of like a pencil popper. So it'll just swim on the surface, just darting back and forth. And uh, that's, you know, the fish love that. I, I use pencil poppers for striped bass back at home. And it's a, you know, it's a pretty reliable pop water lure kind of wherever you are. So really would recommend always having at least one pencil popper with you. And, you know, the one I use at home for striped bass is also red and white so those those colors tend to be really really good with fish the, that red head and that white body so check this out yesterday we had a snapper almost come and hit our lure it's like a 25 pound snapper but uh at the last second it just didn't uh what happens with those is uh they're quick not fast so you got you kind of have to change your retrieve a little bit just when you're in their strike zone so their strike zone it's just kind of a whitewash. So we're going to try that. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. So my popper is still kind of out there. So I'm going to just keep popping it straight. Then once it's closer to me, put my rod tip down a bit and just keep reeling it. And this will keep it just level with that water. It'll keep it in the strike zone for longer. And I can slow my retrieve down just a bit. Not too much, just to allow, you know, that snapper a little bit of an advantage if we want to take it. That's basically what we're doing out here. And then do it enough. All of a sudden you'll see a fish blow up in your lure. There'll be fish on, baby. You can see the sun is rising behind us. Super, super nice. So that's gonna come up and that's gonna hopefully activate the bite because the sun comes up and the fish can see the lure much easier. So sun up and sun down uh, tend to be kind of two times when fish are super, super active. See the eagle rays jumping out there. So hopefully that means there's bait. And uh, you know, if there's bait, there will be fish. He's, he's on, he's on. Uh, we think it might be a mahi. Rooster! Here. Nice, nice, nice. Ah! Nice, man. Here you go, that's a rooster fish. Okay. It looks like there might be a couple of rooster fish around here, so I'm gonna have a cast. That's a good start, though. Rooster fish, haven't been here that long. 
and we hooked up a decent rooster fish. Nice. Look at that. It's off. Let's see if we can pick some up because they usually do travel in little schools. So if there's one, there's many. Oh look, look at that baby, baby sea turtle. Look at the size of my lure compared to that turtle. So this thing needs to get eaten by everything. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna make our way down the beach over that way, see if we can spot some fish, and then we're gonna just pull over and cast. New spot, just, just drove down the beach. Probably drove like half a mile. See if the fish are around here. Just saw a needlefish, just saw a needlefish jump after uh, the other guy's lure, but uh, you know, those things jump after a lot of lures. Most of the time they don't actually hit it. What we're really looking for is a jack, a mahi would be awesome, a dorado, or a rooster fish. And if we get super lucky, maybe a snapper or something. Ah, uh, yep, fish on. That's a fish. I think that's a, a needlefish. Yep, needlefish way out there. Keep my rod tip down just so it doesn't jump. Let's see if we can land this guy. Yeah, this guy hit way, 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 way out there. That's first fish of the day, you know? Not, not the strongest fish out here, but a fish. There we go. First fish of the day for me. Look at that needlefish. Let's get him dehooked and released. The squirmy little fellow. Look at that beautiful, beautiful needlefish. Wow. Sorry, dude. All right, let's get him released really fast. Uh, yeah, first fish. Not the strongest, not the biggest out here, but that is a fish. So we have officially beat the skunk. Let's see if we can pick up something bigger. Yeah, no fish here. Looks like the bait might have moved out. You know, there's a ton of bait here yesterday but we're not seeing any today so that's there's a lot of bait for it to move that quick so we're kind of surprised but we're gonna try over by the rocks because they might have holed up in there all right new spot so before we were fishing basically on that beach all the way over there. Now we're kind of in between all these rocks. Bait fish were out here. So, so it's, a, it's a good assumption that they'll be uh, nearby. So, you know, moving around. Oh, I literally just got hit by something right now. I just got a hit. I just got a hit. Oh, come back. Oh, yeah, fish on. Oh, yeah, fish on. Ah, oh, needlefish. I got off. Ah, uh, yeah, see, instant. First cast. First cast. Yeah, that was a big needle. That was a big, big needle. Oh, there was something in this wave. Something was swimming in this wave right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit soon. I'm gonna get hit soon. There's a lot of fish here, and it's good because even though, you know, we're not really going for uh, needlefish per se, they're not here for no reason, you know? They're here because there's bait here. So we're here because there's bait here. Yeah, and I, there's jacks in the waves. I just saw a jack in the wave. Come on. There's jacks in the waves. I'm gonna see, come on, I'm gonna swim my lure right over these guys. Come on, right over them, right over them, right over them. Now, now, oh, 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 needlefish, needle. Needlefish, 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 needlefish. Damn, there were jacks in the waves and I still got a needlefish. Look at this guy. Oh, I'm gonna get him dehooked. There were a lot of jacks jumping in those waves. All right, get a quick release on this guy because I saw so many jacks. Come on, there's jacks in here. Damn, there's a frenzy just for, you know, like one minute. Uh, I cast right on him and it still was not enough. 
These are the freaking needlefish. Oh, I think they're moving this way. Yeah, they're moving this way. Yeah, you see them, you see them. Oh, they're boiling. Oh, they're boiling. Oh my God, come on. Get that lure. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a perfect cast. And I'm gonna hook up in that order. Ready? Perfect cast. Let's hook up. Come on, come on, come on. They're still out there. All right, ready? Oh, they're way out. Ah, oh my God, they're out there. Okay. Perfect cast. That's a perfect cast. Come on. Got to be a fish. Got to be a fish. Oh, I'm getting followed. Oh, fish on, baby. Oh, yeah. We're on. We're on. We're on. That's a jack. Yup. It was gonna happen. It was gonna happen. And it happened. That's a, this is a nice fish. Oh, yeah, and he's on on the rocks. He's on on the rocks. Yeah, this is a, this is a good fish. My drag is set pretty tight just because uh, there's so many rocks here that I don't want this thing to get off. It's pushing me towards the rocks. We're keeping him. We're keeping him here. Come on. Oh, he just lost his fish. That's brutal. Oh my God. Is that a Dorado? If this is a Dorado, I'm keeping my rod down. I saw something green. No way. This could be a Dorado, so I'm keeping my rod way down. I think I saw something green. Yeah, I saw it too. But I feel like it would have jumped. You never know. Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's a jack. Yeah, it's a jack. Damn. All right, still, I'm not complaining about a jack. Nice. Bring him in with the waves. Nice Jack. Nice. There we go. We got him. We got him. Whew. It was going to happen. And it happened. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Look at this beautiful Jack Creval. I'm going to get him dehooked. Yeah, this guy, this guy was not going anywhere. I'm going to need to get some pliers. Look at this beautiful Jack Creval. Let's get this fish released. It's like really good fight from these guys. And you know, someone else hooked a snapper in the same school as these guys were. And so, uh, snapper are out here and it's not the season. I'm gonna go to the rocks because I really wanna have a good shot at one. All it took was us moving spots and the bite was on. Go to these rocks. Uh, the guy who just hooked the snapper is actually switching his line out with 80 pound braid because these rocks are sharp. You know, braid, braid versus rock. You know, choose rock all the time. It'll just cut through that like like it's butter. So I got 30 pound braid on here, but I got a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. I don't know, hopefully if I can hook something, I'll I'll be able to, to keep it. I don't know though, it'll be tough. Not some casts right out here. Look out, oh, look at that. So many sardines here. So many sardines here. My cast right like this, and I swim in across these waves. Come on, there's, there's a, fish feeding right here so see if I can see if I can get one right here they'll come they're out here they're out here real fast uh, there's snapper out there there are snapper out there feeding with the jacks uh, top water isn't the best for snapper I have some I have some uh, mascad lures so I'm gonna get my box put on a different kind of lure this is not gonna be top water but you know I'm gonna be targeting the the snapper better and it's I still haven't caught those. I have caught jacks. So if I can get a snapper, mwah, big box of lures. There's a turtle nest. Walk around this thing. But yeah, this is basically all I brought with me. This is my entire arsenal. Got some good lures in there. So let's see if these snapper are hungry. Right, switching, switching lures. So taking, taking this popper off, this thing went through so many fish. And uh, putting this one, look at that, Nomad. So this is a, big one and it'll be swimming differently this is not top water we can see it's such a cool lure i'm excited to try it out so i'm gonna swim this one differently check it out just gonna cast it out it's not meant to cast super far you know these are mostly for a snapper so i'm casting from rocks and i'm just gonna 
swim it, make kind of circles with my rod and just keep the rod tip down. And yeah, see if it gets hit. This will make it flutter really nicely. And it's got those two, two big hooks ready to hook up any snapper that gets it. Look at this. My, my line snapped off and there's just fish everywhere. That's, that is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't even know what to, oh my God. Look at that, it's boiling everywhere. I'm gonna try to tie a new lure on there super, super fast. Too late, that's how fast it is. I'm literally putting this, the, the line through like the second eye, the second guide, and uh, already too late. They're gone. That's ridiculous, see it? That's, they hit super fast, they leave super fast. It's over super fast. We got one shot. That was super, super unlucky. I think they were pretty small jacks though, so I'm not super beat up about it, but you saw them boiling right here. Still super cool to watch. All right, well, that's it. Not as much action as yesterday, but you know, I was looking for that jack and I got that jack. So super, super cool day, you know, the fishing by those rocks, so pretty. You know, I got to see all the bait. I got to see all the, all the weird looking fish because there were some non-predatory fish there. Some fish that just eat like crabs and plankton and they, they tend to have some of the prettiest colors. So super cool day. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time, tie lines.